It's cold this morning, so I thought we'd talk about cold stuff. Uh, on the Arizona Trail this uh, past spring, when a lot of the Arizona Trail through hikers are coming through, I ran into uh, a couple guys uh, going up to Manning Park, which is around Tucson, but it goes up to, it's one of the Sky Islands, it goes up to about 9,000 feet, close to it, 80-something, and uh, you can always tell lightweight backpackers because they're sitting in a snowbank with their Hawaiian shirts on. <laughs> a lot of people come to the desert thinking all they need is warm clothes, but the desert, especially at night, gives up its heat. But during the day, um, it can get cold also, and at elevation, snow, and cold. And so these guys, number one, they're out of water, so they're trying to uh, get water from snow, and they were doing it all wrong. I mean, you can't just throw snow in your fire pot and think it's gonna melt. All you're gonna do is scorch your pot. It's gonna smell bad. If you do get any water, it's gonna taste like charcoal. You have to start with some seed water, like maybe a cup of water, get that to a boil, then drop in your snow. If you can get ice chunks someplace, that's even better. You know, twice the volume, half the fuel to melt it. Anyway, you know, I told them the right way to do it, but I also told them that because I've hiked that a lot, I, I, there's water about a half mile up the trail, you'll find open water. So uh, they didn't do that, but they did learn how to um, uh, melt snow. And, and I told them also that you want to use white snow. Um, there's many flavors of yellow snow, could be moose, could be bear, could be beaver. Um, so you want to make sure you use white snow it's the best tasting and uh, while I was at it I I don't know where they came up with the bread bags on their hands but I I asked them if they had extra socks do you carry extra socks yeah I said wouldn't those make better gloves oh boy they thought that was a great they said I was a genius <laughs> I asked them if they could write that down and uh, put it on paper for me so I could show my wife but none of us had any paper or anything to write with um, which is another thing that I'm gonna start carrying. I used to carry that before my phone and making notes on my phone, but now with my hiking storage poles in one of my little test tube, uh, 28 millimeter test tubes, I'm gonna put some paper and a pencil. And you know, if you're with a group, sometimes you wanna leave a note for somebody coming stragglers behind, you know, maybe a change of plans, whatever, and you find yourself with a stick writing in the dirt hoping that it doesn't get trampled before your intended reader comes along. So, uh, you know, ahead of time you can say, well, we'll leave a note if there's any change at a certain point and they can look for it. It's just good to have it, I guess, but I stopped carrying that years ago. But again, now that I have these storage poles, I think I'll start carrying paper and pencil. Anyway, think about these things. Keep smiling.